has been a good while since I've last talked to you guys. I mean, aside from like drifting around in the snow, but even that, I mean, it's been it's been a long time. We should really we should really catch up sometime. I don't know if you can see this mess, but uh, it's pretty bad. Gonna have to try to clean this up. Ever since I've been living in the Jeep, when we built the cot frame, we built it so the shifter could easily shift into fifth gear and reverse, and we don't have any issues. But um, even though the wood cot is perfect, this big stupid foam pad keeps getting in the way. It's kind of annoying. However, I lucked out. I actually have a really good solution for this. I never got to actually finish getting everything ready for the Jeep. And I wanted to leave on my trip again by March. A few things have changed that's going to affect my original plans, but I will get to that in a minute. For now, we're not going anywhere until I get the Jeep ready again to live in. In case you didn't notice, Texas got snowed in really bad. We had what is, I guess, called a snowstorm. And despite the fact that it wasn't anything I would usually be worried about, I had a lot of friends and family who were worried about me freezing to death in my Jeep, so I ended up staying inside so I wouldn't be laying out breathing in the cold air. I did that for a couple nights and I definitely did notice a difference breathing in like 15 degree weather. I guess it's really bad for your lungs. I didn't really get anything accomplished with the Jeep that whole time since I wasn't able to come outside and pack and stuff. And up until the last couple days, it's just been muddy. So today, it's finally, in case you haven't noticed, the snow's all gone. So it's time to start getting back to work. So this is what I'm going to be putting in the Jeep instead of what I originally had. Before I had this, I was using just a foam pad that I found at a military surplus store. They sell them on Amazon for about 60 bucks. It was just a foam pad. There was nothing special about it, just a big foam pad. And I got that because looking at cot pads, cot pads are usually really thin and very expensive. Um, I had looked at maybe the air up kind, but we're talking like $100 for what's basically that thick. So I ended up going with the foam pad. Now this is actually a Nautica lounge chair. That's all it is, there's nothing special about this. It's just a, a lounge chair, like the kind of things you have outside on the beach and stuff. It's the pad for that. It already has the, um, there's a lot of benefits to having this, assuming it fits, because as opposed to my original setup, I was actually just using a sleeping bag and I was like stuffing that in and using that as the sheet and it's a little bit wonky. It worked fine, but this actually doesn't need that because it already has its own like cover and it's actually outdoor rated, so it's mildew resistant. It is a little bit thinner, but the material feels a little bit stiffer and I feel like it'll hold up better. Just debating here. So I'm gonna see if I can make this fit and if it does, it might help prevent that problem of constantly like getting my hand wedged while trying to shift gears because it's kind of annoying, especially on the highway. comfortable I think this is really good I like it it also looks a lot more tidy in here a lot more professional looking the really sad thing is that the other pad cost me like $80 and this pad cost me $50 it's just in I guess it technically it's the home goods section of TJ Maxx or the you know where they have the stuff outside I forget what it's called it's very nice I like it Definitely worth the $50. I think I'm gonna keep it in here. Oh wait, but first I have to make sure that it fixes our problem because if I still hit the shift knob, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to just go back to the original setup. It's not worth $50 if I'm still hitting the shift knob. 
Cool. After we got snowed in, I basically just stuffed all of my stuff inside of Meme's house. I was trying to organize the Jeep, but I kept getting held up. And then after the snow came in, I just quit cold turkey. Now the sun's out and Haley's driving to Dallas to go get back surgery or find out if she needs back surgery or, you know, just whatever. I'm going to try to get everything in the Jeep. However, I did wait all day to get this done. So the sun's already going down. So let's see how much I can get done before this happens. And then I'll update you guys on exactly what the plan is from here. Come back, I still need you. Don't go. Fred. Fred. Well, the sun's going down and I'm not done. I barely started. I, I don't even know where stuff is going. I don't know how I fit all this stuff in before. Like, I know how, but like every time I reorganize, I want to reorganize again. And because I pull everything out of the Jeep when it started snowing, now I'm like going back at it and I'm like, ah, everything needs to have a perfect place for it. And the sun's going down and I still got to tell you guys what's going on. Like, what? I'm gonna speed do this. I'll be right back. Hang on. <laughs> 